Kobe Bryant is now dead at like 41 years of age. He had a wonderful future ahead of him. But here's the question. Did he know the Lord? That's the question that Christian people are asking. He's dead. Did he know the Lord? Well, we have to hope that Kobe didn't know the Lord because the Lord is B-E-L, Baith Ayin Laman. And that's B-A-A-L in a lot of translations. But rather, we hope that he saw the prefaces of the translations because they explain that the translators removed the name Yahuwah and they put in a device. B-E-L, which in translation is the Lord. There's only one name given under Shamayim, given among men by which we must be delivered. That's Acts 4.12. As our deliverer, Yahuwah became the perfect offering. He took on flesh. Hebrews 1, Hebrew, or Hebrews 1, explains that Yahuwah spoke to us in many ways through the prophets. But in these last days, He's spoken to us through his son, the one that he created a body to inhabit for. And there's only one name. And as our deliverer in this fleshly body, Yahuwah became our deliverer by shedding his own blood. The Ruach HaKadosh shed his own blood in order to purchase us. That's what Acts 20 verse 28 says. The Ruach HaKadosh shed his own blood. Well, who's that? Let's find out who he is. And let's obey him. <clears throat> now, the suffix on the name of Yahuwah that was modifying the name of, the, of, the, of our deliverer makes it mean, I am your deliverer, Yahusha. Yahusha means, I am your deliverer. We are immersed calling on the name of Yahusha. For the forgiveness of our crimes against him. Nazarim are commissioned to teach the name and obedience to everything we were commanded to obey. Team one was the first Nazarim, and team two is the second team. We're here now on the earth, awakened and quickened by the Ruach HaKadosh, to teach his name and obedience to everything we were commanded to obey. We're Torah teachers. And we love the commandments. The Ten Commandments are teaching us how to love Yahuwah and love our neighbor. Is there deliverance in any other name? What name were you immersed in? Who will you call on for your deliverance? What the translators printed in their translations? Or the true name, the Hebrew name, which is the only name? Aliyahu, they call him Elijah, which is a slight corruption of the real name, Aliyahu. At Mount Carmel, was used by Yahuwah to decide between two opinions concerning a name. At the end of that day, the crowds were screaming, Yahuwah, he is Aliyim. Now check, you, check your uh, scriptures here. In the following text, in Hebrew, or Hebrews chapter 9, verses 26 through 28, quote, But now he has appeared once for all at the end of the ages to put away sin by the offering of himself. And as it awaits men to die once, and after this the judgment, so also the Mashiach, having been offered once, to bear the sins of many, shall appear a second time, apart from sin, to those waiting for him to deliverance. Unquote. That's in the BYMV, chapter 9 of Hebrews. Next, read Yashayahu 25, that's Isaiah 25, to see what we will say to those around us when we announce him. We are his witnesses that he is Elohim. Kings will shut their mouths at the sight of him. And I'd like to finish this 
quick the short video with by reading a short verse from the BYNV volume two at Amazon. You can get one of these. I've bookmarked it here. Here's the covenant. I'm going to read a few verses from First Yahukanan, chapter 2. My little children, I write this to you so that you do not sin. And if, if anyone sins, we have an intercessor with the Father, Yahushua, Hamashiach, a obedient one. And he himself is the atoning offering for our sins, and not for us only, but also for all the world. And by this we know that we know him, if we guard his commands. The one who says, I know him, and does not guard his commands, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. But whoever guards his word, truly the love of Yahuwah has been perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. The one who says he lives in him, ought himself also to walk even as he walked. Thanks for watching, and we're searching for the not serene. Bye now. Kobe Bryant is now dead at 41 years of age. Did he know the Lord? That was the question. We have to hope that Kobe didn't know the Lord.